All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Dell Optiplex um, 790. So this um, mini desktop was actually damaged by a power outage. So the power caused the power supply to go out. Um, I replaced it and confirmed it's working. So we're gonna see how to, um, I'll show you how to open it up now. Um, but anyways, use a Phillips screwdriver, um, one of the bigger ones if you have it at least a pH 1 or 2. Um, this one is just a uh, cross 3.5. So if you have a Phillips like 3 or 4, then that should work as well. Um, this screw you can untwist by hand or you can use the screwdriver. Once you do that, you just slide the cover over to the side like that and then you can take it out and set it aside. All right, so in here, this was the replacement so they put this stuff on top. Um, but anyways, after you get that out, you want to remove the front panel. Make sure you don't have any USB things plugged in the front because that will stop you from taking this panel off. So to remove this, you lift up these two clips and then pull it outwards. And then there's also one clip down here that you push down and then you push forward as well. Okay, so this one you push down and then push forward. Once you do that, you can swing it over. Again, um, if you want to, uh, to put it back, you just swing it back on like that. The bottom side goes into the holes and then you just slide it back in. The bottom's a little tricky, but make sure just put pressure and it will go in place. Okay, so that's how you would put that back. So take that out, it comes out just like this. All right, you can see the CD drive, the power button and everything all up front here. So I'm not removing any of these, but you can remove these by taking the screws out. Okay, so if you need to change out this USB board and the audio jacks. All right, so next what you wanna do is remove this um, tray with the CD optical drive in it. So you just pull up this handle. Um, you don't technically need this handle, but it helps make it easier. Once you get the handle out, you just pull this straight up. All right, if you want, you can disconnect all these cables. Uh, let me see, I'm not gonna do that because I don't need to, but so I'll show you here. You got two sticks of RAM. So to change that, you just push these two levers to the side, just like this. Okay, then you can take the RAM out. This RAM is uh, 4 gig PC3 10600U. Um, sorry if it's blurry. Um, there you go. So if you need to upgrade the RAM, you can. Uh, I don't know what the max it supports, but I would think um, you can probably put two 8 gig sticks. Um, usually I recommend buying the memory and parts from a place where you can return it just in case something doesn't work properly. Um, if you want to remove the CD drive, there's this little blue tab here. You just push it and then you can push the CD drive out. Okay. And this you would, oh, I'll take it out so you can see. Um, so I'm going to disconnect these two cables. There's also the hard drive or SSD on the bottom here. You can upgrade this to a two and a half inch SATA uh, SSD. So I put that, there's four, the four screws that hold it in place and you just remove these cables like the others. Okay, so now that I got that, you can remove the CD drive just like this. You will have to transfer this blue thing over if you get another uh, a replacement. Um, to remove this, you basically just pull the side out because it has these little tabs that hold it in place. Okay, so I think, yeah, so it just comes out just like that. So, oops, sorry. So it goes on like that. You just slide this back in so that the little um, tabs that stick out, um, and then you just snap this back in place, okay? Oh, you, you actually have to do the bottom one first. So there are little um, nibs that stick out on the bottom here. So you want to actually slide it in this way first. It makes it a bit easier, okay? And then you can snap this side in, okay? So that's how you would change out the CD drive. If you want, you can get a um, hard drive adapter if you don't really use the CDs. And then you can put a second hard drive in the CD drive slot, okay? So you can do that. Um, there's not really too much point to do it that way because you can just get an external drive and put that. But if you really wanted to keep everything inside the box, you can do that. Okay, so the two sticks of RAM. All right, here you can see the CPU is underneath here. The CPU is changeable, so if you wanted, you can technically upgrade it. Um, I don't know what CPU is currently in here. You do have to stick with the same um, uh, generation of the processor, so I don't know what it is. If it's like, let's see, this is an i7 already. 
but if you have like an i5 or i3, just check what generation it is. Usually you can go up to like an i5 or i7. Usually you don't want to go up, up too far because if it gets, uh, if it works a lot quicker and runs a lot hotter, you can actually um, uh, overpower the cooling system and then it might run too hot. Um, anyways, underneath here, there is a slot for a wireless card, it looks like, but there's no antennas in here. Um, so, I don't know, it says PCIe mini card. So, yeah, I believe that's for a wireless card. Um, I don't know if you can put, like, a SATA drive in there, I don't think so. Um, then you got, let's see here, sorry if my head's in the way. Um... Uh, I think, okay, so there's the clear CMOS, and then there's clear password. So there's jumpers here that if you move this thing over, you can clear the the BIOS or CMOS. And then on the bottom one, I think it's to clear out the password. Um, anyways, so now the main thing is this power supply. Your power supply might not have this. This is a case intrusion um, uh, button, so it knows that the, the case has been taken out. So anyways, you take out the one screw down there, and then there's two screws on this side, so you want to take out both both these screws, okay? So remove those two screws. All right. Hopefully my phone's not gonna overheat. But, um, all right, remove those two screws. Once you remove the two screws, you can push the um, power supply in from the side here. And then after that, you want to lift it at an angle, just like this, and you can lift it out, okay? Um, this cable might be in the way, so if you want, you can take this out first before you do that. Um, to do that, you push on the... Oh, I don't think you can even see that. Um, there's a clip here, so you push on this clip, and then while you're pushing this clip, you pull up the cable. So this is like any other um, motherboard connection power cable. Um, let's see, this thing's in my way, so it's a little tough, but you squeeze that clip while you kind of pull it. I just wiggle it and it comes out. All right, then you got the case intrusion, um, connector here. You squeeze the clip there as well, and then you can kind of wiggle it out just like that. Then you got the CPU power connector here. Same thing. Um, you squeeze the clip. Sorry if it's blocked by the cable, but you squeeze the clip, wiggle it and pull it out. So here you can see. There's the four pin for the CPU, then you got the eight pin for the motherboard, and then this small three pin one for the case intrusion. Um, then you got these connectors for the motherboard, uh, for the, um, this is the power, power connectors for the SATA connector for the CD optical drive and the hard drive or SSD. You got the two SATA data connectors for the hard drive and the CD drive. And that's pretty much all there is to this. The fan is um, nice and beefy. It's a pretty good setup for the CPU to keep it cool. Um, let me see. You got some like IDE type cables for the um, USB ports and the headphone jacks on the front and the microphone. And then you got another IDE strip kind of cable for the um, these ribbon cables for the power button. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to this. Um, hopefully this video helped you. At least you can upgrade it to an SSD or RAM. Um, I forgot to mention that I'm running a contest for a um, for some Apple AirPods Pros. So go to my community page um, for more information on that. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. Um, help your friends and family um, be able to upgrade their own things. And yeah, thanks. Bye. All right, um, so I'm gonna actually continue this video. I forgot to um, show that there are some little tricks to reassemble it, so let me show that. So to put the power supply back in, you wanna connect these two cables first, so the CPU and the intrusion cable first. After you do that, you can slide it over to the right. All right, kind of keep your hand over there holding the power supply. You can use like the little plug port all right, once you do that, um, you want to put the seat, uh, the power supply at an angle like this, so that way the top of it can go underneath or the bottom, I don't know, whichever you want to call it. All right, once you get the power supply in, um, you can rotate it so that it's flat. Okay, 
it's getting caught on something, you might have to wiggle it around. All right, so just like this. Is it hitting? Okay. All right, so get it in just like that. Once you get it in, it has to be slid over this way because there are little um, clips that when you slide it over, it locks it in place. And once you get it there, you can slide it over. All right. Once you slide it over, it should be locked, so it shouldn't move around. Okay, after you do that, you want to put the two screws on the corners first. Okay, usually I um, don't tighten it the first time until all the screws are in. So tighten that, all right. Then you can tighten both these back screws first. All right, once you get those two back screws in, you'll want to put the one screw down here. Okay. Now that you got all three of those screws in, you can plug in the motherboard power connector, just like that. All right, make sure it clipped into place. Okay, after you do that, you can plug back in the CD drive um, power and data cables, just like this. Okay, and then to put this back in, um, you have this little notch thing here and the two notches there that need to line up with the hole here and the two holes up here, okay? Then you also got this metal um, bar that needs to line up in this little groove down here. So just make sure all of that lines up, okay? And then you just push it straight down, okay? All right, just like that. And again, make sure that you relatch this metal piece back over. I already did that. Um, and then once you do that, you can put this plate back on, all right? Put the bottom in first and then just push it over like that this part you might need to move so it goes in properly there we go if you had any usb devices make sure to plug them back in okay and then put the cover back on just like this start it over onto the side and then make sure to get it to drop in so check where the little clips are here okay Oh, make sure that this goes back because it's hitting, it hits this metal piece. All right, once you get that in place, when you slide it, it'll go through there and then just push it forward. And that's how you reassemble it. So once again, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe so other people can find my videos. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget about the contest. Bye.